Hey, what is going on guys? I'm going to show you two ways to do a factory reset on your PS4. Okay, so the first way is doing a soft reset, going through the settings. The second way is going to be pressing a hard key on the actual PS4 by itself so we can get into safe mode. And then from safe mode, we'll be able to do a factory reset. You want to do it this way here in case you're not able to see the screen here. Okay, anyways, it's the first way here uh, through the screen. So what you want to do first is just go ahead and move up like that and then go all the way to the right until we go to settings tap on settings then you want to go all the way down to the very bottom it says initialization tap on that and then right here it says restore default settings okay go ahead and simply click on the x to proceed with the factory reset now if you're not able to see the screen and you want to use the hard keys another way to do it is make sure your tv and ps4 is plugged in and it's on right now and then what you want to do is you want to go down to the power button right here. You want to press and hold and wait till you hear the second beep, then go ahead and let go. Okay, so let's do this together. Here's the power button right here. One, two, three, press and hold. There's one. Waiting for the second beep. And the second beep, now I'm, I can go ahead and let go. Now what this is doing is actually turning the PS4 off. However, uh, before I did the update, when I press and hold to the second beep, it would automatically go into safe mode. So if you're in a safe mode right now, just hold on one second. If your PS4 turned off, I want you to go ahead and do the same thing again. Press and hold till you hit the second beep, okay? One, two, three, press. Oops, pre ready? Press, there's one beep. I'm still holding. There's a second beep. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go and let's wait for it to go into safe mode here. Okay, so it says uh, DualShock PS4, uh, plug in your DualShock. So make sure you have your remote here. Make sure you plug it into the USB port. Mine's already plugged in, so I'm just going to go ahead and just press the PS button right here. And now from here, you have to move down. You can't use this, you got to use this, okay? So you're going to go down to it says restore default settings go ahead and select that and then are you sure you want to proceed got to push to the right and then you can go ahead and proceed from there so there you guys go any questions comment below thanks for watching guys